Mr. Sam with the Anaheim Public Library. And today, I will be doing the Stain Train program. In today's program, I will be teaching you guys three different ways in which you could recreate mosaic art. These include one using tissue paper, another one using an old picture frame and markers, and lastly, another one in which we'll be using white paper and colored pencils. Let's get started. So for the very first activity, all you're going to need is tissue paper in an assortment of different colors, some scissors, a white sheet of paper, and some glue. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is gather our tissue paper, our white paper, and our scissors. So we're gonna to wanna to start out by cutting out the tissue paper into small squares about one inch by one inch. You could actually stack multiple together so that way you could do this a little bit faster. So now that we have these all stacked up, we could start cutting it into squares. And they don't have to be perfect. We will be overlapping them as we complete our pattern. So now that we have our tissue cut up into squares, we're ready to start applying them onto our white piece of paper using some glue. Just put a little bit of glue and spread it out with your fingers. So now that we have our glue on our paper, we could just start adding the tissue one by one in any way that you would like. You could form a rainbow, or you could also form a figure. Anything that you would like to recreate onto your piece of paper, you are free to do. And you don't have to fill in every gap perfectly, but as you can see, stick each one of these pieces of tissue fairly easily. And your masterpiece should look something like that. Now the next way that we're going to recre recreate the mosaic art is actually going to be using an old picture frame if you have one available at home or you could buy one from a local store and what you're going to need is the small piece of glass or plastic that is used to protect the picture and you're also going to need some markers um, an assortment of different colors and we're going to be coloring onto the glass and it'll look like stained glass once we complete it. So I went ahead and removed my piece of plastic from my picture frame and now I'm ready to start drawing the image onto the glass. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is start out by identifying what you're going to want to be drawing. So today I'm going to be doing a leaf. So with mosaic art, the most important thing to consider is that it doesn't actually have to be perfect. So you just want to make sure that you have small little tiles drawn out that you could color in different colors. So I'll just start off by drawing and I'm actually going to just draw, cut it up into small irregular pieces. So as you could see, I finished drawing out my leaf onto my piece of plastic and I drew some lines around it so that I could color that in different colors. So I'm, for my leaf, I'm going to actually color it green and blue, but you could color any color you would like depending on what image you decided to draw. And once you complete shading in your work of art, it should look something like what I have here put it back into your frame and keep it forever. Now for the last way to recreate mosaic art, we're actually going to just use a sheet of white paper, a black marker, and some colored pencils. So similar to what we did with the glass, you're just going to draw out a figure onto your sheet of paper and you're just going to color it in with different colors using your colored pencils. So I'll actually just go ahead and recreate the leaf that I did on the previous one. And again, they don't have to be the same size or shape. They could be any shape you would like. And using your colored pencils, you can shade it in any colors you would like. And now, as you can see, we finished coloring our last piece of mosaic art. You can see that I have the leaf here and I had a little bit of green, purple, and blue. And then on the outside, I had red, yellow, orange, as well. An important thing to consider is that 
as you can see, none of these shapes are perfect, and you could really create, make them as big or as small as you would like. And with that, I would like to conclude today's new adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about three different ways in which you could recreate mosaic art. And you guys will continue to explore this topic further by checking out books from your local Anaheim Public Library. Don't forget to share your creations with us using the hashtag AnaheimSteam on Instagram. And also, don't forget to log your reading program progress using our ReadSport app. I'll see you guys on the next Steam Adventure.